Hello everybody, I'm Dio Sinodinos, president of C4 Media, creators of QCon and InfoQ, and I'm delighted to be here with Karen Casella, a member of the QCon programming committee, to talk about uh, QCon Plus November. Uh, Karen, would you like to introduce yourself and uh, what you are working on? Sure, thank you, Dio. I'm excited to be here and, and talking with you. I'm also really excited to be helping bring together the QCon Plus events that we're planning for November. So uh, I'm an engineering director at Netflix and I lead the Access and Identity Management Organization. Uh, we're responsible for everything related to uh, identity and uh, authentication authorization for our consumer facing products at Netflix. And Karen, what has been your experience with uh, QCon over the years? Yeah, I started attending QCon probably about five years ago. Um, I found it very intriguing that it was a conference that was focused on practitioners. And it has become, I think, I've attended many, you know, dozens of different conferences throughout my career. And one of the things that I love about QCon is that I always walk away with ideas that I can implement. You know, often you go to a conference and it's very theoretical and it's like, well, that's interesting. How am I going to use that? But every single time I've attended QCon, I come away with something that I want to try. It's like, hey, that's an amazing way of thinking about it. Let me bring this back to my team and figure out how we might use it. Um, from there, I, you know, as an attendee, I, I got excited about it and had an opportunity to participate and, and be a track host. And so I, I hosted tracks at QCon on a few different occasions, including the architecture track uh, and a few others. Um, I've also been very heavily involved in the diversity and the inclusion efforts of QCon and um, hosting different events for members of underrepresented groups and helping them uh, navigate the, the conference and, and get the most out of it as they can. And I've had the pleasure of working on the programming committee now. Uh, this will be my second time really helping to frame the content for the attendees. So uh, everything from attendee to speaker, to panelist, to track host, to program committee now. And I can honestly say, and I'm not just saying this because I'm talking to you, Dio, um, it is my favorite conference. It is my favorite software conference and I never miss it because there's just so much that uh, I take away from it. That's, that, that, that's amazing. And Karen, having been part of the programming committee, the discussions, the technical debate that uh, happens when um, that team chooses the topics, the tracks, uh, is there anything that really stands out for you personally uh, for uh, from QCon Plus November, a topic, um, a specific track? Yeah, you know, the, to me, the architecture track is always one of the most interesting. Uh, it is the flagship track, and I always try to attend that one. But uh, there are a couple others I'm really excited about this time around. One is around um, trust. Uh, we're putting together a track that talks about how it's important for users to be able to trust the systems that they're interacting with and for systems to be able to trust the users that they're interacting with. So it's kind of a bi-directional trust model. So I'm excited to work with our track host on, on pulling together a good story around that because I think that's a very timely topic with everything that's going on around ransomware and other types of threats and, and vulnerabilities. I think that's a, a very timely topic. The other timely topic is how do we work together um, in this hybrid mode that we're going to be entering? You know, we've all been working, most of us have been working in a distributed fashion over the last 16 to 18 months because of COVID. And you know, hopefully we'll start to do more in-person meetings in the next several months, although that's starting to get delayed by the Delta variant. But really thinking about you know, how do we work together again? Um, you know, we've gone from working in an office to working in a distributed fashion. And a lot of us are gonna go back to a hybrid environment where we have people in both situations. And so we wanna pull together people who've worked in both models and then how do we think about taking it forward into the future? I think that's another, really timely topic that I'm excited about at the conference. Thank you so much, Karen.